Hello everyone, this is the MGTOW Cowboy. Greetings and salutations. This evening I want to cut a quick video for you guys and I want to share with you an experience that I had a long time ago, years and years ago, um, probably about 15 years ago now. And um, I had forgotten about it, basically. And then uh, I just watched the video right now and it reminded me of it. And so I thought I'd cut a video. Uh, I think I'm going to call this video... Um, Erection achieved. Erection achieved. Okay, so here goes. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, today's just another day. I, I was watching a video by uh, uh, Oki Drummer, Oki Drummer eighty nine. You all know Oki Drummer eighty nine. Um, he has a new channel now. He has a new channel. I think it's called General Kinetics. General Kinetics. If you hear this, uh, hey, what's up, Oki? Uh, shout out to you, bro. Anyway. Um, Oki Drummer 89 was uh, making a video and he was talking about fetishes. And among them, he was talking about a fetish that he had heard from Hormaxer to Hormaxer cha Hormaxer's channel. And Hormaxer follows this other gentleman called uh, Lux Maximus. And um, I think also Lux Maximus is. Um, he's not just a content creator, I think he's also like a DJ and he goes by Hen Dog. And uh, a hen dog, or Lux Maximus, has created this song called Erection Achieved. And in the song, he, uh, he talks about how he went to all these great lengths to procure these, uh, a pair of panties from a teenage girl, and how the pungent odor uh, it, it gets him aroused and all this. And um, Anyway, I, I just wanted to share that story that I, I basically, um, I basically uh, engaged in that fetish. And I wanted to share the story. So a long time ago, back in my university days, I started university here in Chicago, but I ended up gra I ended up I ended up uh, transferring and graduating uh, from SDSU, South Dakota State University. There, I, I dated for almost three years uh, this young, beautiful girl. She was she was nineteen when we started dating, um, and I, I don't want to go into too much detail. But at the time, she was like the she was what I would consider the the standard of of beauty. Uh, um, she was a li just a little overweight, but besides that, she, she was, she had nice, she, she was, she was very well endowed, if you will, by our Lord and creator. You know, she's very, she was, uh, she had, she had, she had big tits. She was very well, she was very well endowed, natural blonde hair, blue eyes, um, straight up Midwestern farmer's daughter. I thought she was hot as hell. Anyway, we dated for, uh, almost three years, broke up, whatever. One time, because I would spend the night at her place, she would spend the night at my place, there was a lot of, you know, a lot of that going on. One time, she must have forgotten her panties at my place. Uh, and I found them, and I just I just kept them. And uh, I have to admit, I, I absolutely had that experience where I would smell them, you know, I'd take a whiff of them, and they were pungent. Um, frankly, they, they smelled, they smelled like her pussy, you know. Uh, but not, not just her pussy, yeah, yeah, her pussy, yeah, her pussy, but... Not just that, just her whole body. Her whole, it's her. It, it carried with it um, her scent, you know, because you know we we all have a scent, you know, and um, yeah, I don't know how to put it. The um, you know, uh, imagine imagine you know she wakes up in in the morning and she gets dressed, including putting on a pair of panties. She goes to class. After class, she goes to work. She pulls a long you know eight hour shift. The whole day she's moving, sweating, you know. So the, you know, all the, all the body oils, the 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 sweat, uh, the the grease, the grime, the gristle, uh, all the, you know, the bodily fluids, frankly, are going to uh, stain or embed in the uh, the cloth of the panties, and yeah, that's what I think happened. And I she left a, a pair of panties at my place, and I ended up doing the exact same thing that Oki Drummer was talking about. This guy Hen Dog or this guy. This guy, uh, Lux Maximus, that he was referring to, um, he would keep these panties in like a... Well, I, I did the exact same thing. I, I put the panties into like a plastic, like a sealed plastic... What, what's that called? Like um, a Ziploc, like a Ziploc bag, a plastic Ziploc bag. And it kept the scent. In fact, it kept it like, I think, like almost indefinitely. I remember keeping the panties. I had them for years. Like, you know, eventually we broke up, I graduated, I moved back to Chicago, I still had the panties, 
and I would open them up once in a while and take take a take a whiff of the panties, and they still had that bodily scent. And I just wanted to share that. I I don't consider myself a fetish at all, a, a fetish, a person who who has a fetish. But um, is it fe- is it fetishist? I don't know. Whatever. I don't, I don't consider myself having that fetish or fetish anymore. Or I'm not into fetishes. Period. I don't think. But if that's a fetish, I, I had that fetish for a while because I definitely had her panties and, and I straight up put them in a plastic bag and, and kept them. And I would take them out once in a while and give them a whiff. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I just felt like sharing that. I thought that was kind of funny. And um, uh, what's his name? Oki Drummer's video sort of jogged my memory. And so I can attest that that's true. So I just wanted to make that for you. Uh, and, um, you know, give you guys your, your daily red pill. Don't uh, Don't get married. You guys know that. Don't get married. Uh, don't uh, don't be moving in with these broads, and uh, don't be don't be trust don't be trusting these hoes. You know, so maybe instead just uh, get get a pair of uh, three day worn panties, and when you need to, just just give them a whiff. You know. All right, guys. Erection achieved. Uh, uh, over and out.